I told you the hair cells would be back. So the story on the hair cells is you're born with all of them you're ever going to have starting at 20 weeks gestation. So actually before you're born, what causes these guys to change are typically things like noisy jobs or hobbies, family history or genetics, and then just as we get older, our ears get older too. Those tens of thousands of little hair cells are oriented like a piano in the cochlea. So you have got your boomy bass notes buried deep inside, stretching all the way out to your very, very high pitches. 20,000 hertz, that's like a dog whistle. But because of how the cochlea is oriented, you'll see that these high pitched hair cells are centered right at the entrance of the cochlea where that stirrup bone is going to start that movement first. So because our high pitches like to hang out here, naturally, this is just the path that gets used the most. It's like the path in your living room carpet compared to the carpet in your dining room. You are going to walk and use and tread on those hair cells more, which is why it's more common to see changes in the high pitches or the high frequencies first, even starting at your early 20s. This is my Surgeon General's warning and the perfect time to tell you, protect what you have. Wear hearing protection when you're in a noisy environment because hair cells that maybe are starting to have some changes are more susceptible to changes in the future. It's like when you have a split end on your hair, it's gonna fray. Those frays are more likely to cause changes down the road compared to a healthy strand of hair, for example. So again, protect what you have. These hair cells, unfortunately, are not something that we can regenerate. I hope to see that in my lifetime. If birds can do it, why can't we? But in the meantime, the one thing I know that you can do is protect what you have.